how to get any game from GameStop for free, even Star Wars Battlefront 2. Enter to win an Amazon gift card by commenting how many times you say the word pigeon in this video, and subscribing to our channel. Games. Games are a great way to pass the time, whether it be puzzles, racing, or killing things. It's mostly killing things. People, including myself, throw hours and hours at video games, immersing themselves in a world usually far removed from our own. However, games are expensive, and spending $60 minimum for a brand new AAA title may put money in the creator's pockets, but it gets absolutely ridiculous when they put out $60 DLC packs every three months. And before you know it, you've put $200 in a game that will have a sequel in six months. Nobody likes that feeling. So I have scoured the internet, looking for the right way to acquire games for free, excluding pirating them. You wouldn't download a car. And here's the two best ways that I found to get games from GameStop for free. Method 1. The Pigeon Option. This requires a pigeon, a living, breathing, wild pigeon. A crow may work too, but you almost certainly get pecked up by the crow. However, if you don't mind it, it may increase your chances of this working. You also have to have decent haggling skills and a poker face. Method 2 is the sensible option. This requires decent credit history or someone with decent credit history. Warning, this is not for idiots. If you do not follow the correct steps to the sensible option, you may owe hundreds and hundreds of dollars in interest on the credit card, which is not what you want to do at all. But I bet you're still wondering what method 1 is, so let's do that one first. Method 1, aka the pigeon option. The pigeon option is a method invented by a genius anonymous man, which is a generic term for someone who wishes to remain anonymous. This person posted specifically on the website 4chan, which... You, you just don't go there, never mind. Anonymous noticed that a group of pigeons did not shy away from him when he approached them, so he reached down and picked one up. It was startled and upset and very, very dirty. Anonymous then proceeded to go inside GameStop, with everyone staring at this man carrying this dirty pigeon. He goes to the counter and demands Fantasy Star Universe for Xbox 360 for free. The GameStop clientele try to haggle with the madman, but before they can even counter offer, Anon releases the pigeon into the store. The pigeon begins flying around wildly, and the staff begs him to catch it. They give him the game, and Anon decides to, well, just leave the store with the game without catching the pigeon. What a savage. So just remember the age-old adage, if you have the wits to catch a pigeon, you'll have your game in a smidgen. The sensible option isn't quite as ridiculous, but is much more likely to work. You see credit card companies put out many, and I mean a metric ton of bonus garbage, to steal your life and cash away from you. But if you are savvy enough, you can easily accrue free money with virtually no negative effects to you whatsoever. All you gotta do is find a credit card offering, for instance, $100 cash back if you spend $500 in the first three months, get that credit card, and pay your bills with it. Which, if your bills don't cost $500 within three months, I mean, ask your parents to do it, because you're obviously a child. Anyways, once you fulfill the requirement, you'll be awarded the points for your cash back, which you can redeem for credit for the card, gift cards, and a ton of other things, actually. Just make sure to completely pay off your bill on the credit card. Do not maintain a balance for them to rack up interest on. This is what they want you to do. Do not play their game. Play your own game that you just got for free. So choose your destiny. Pigeons or credit cards? The choice is yours. So beware of the fearsome pigeon. The pigeon is very pigeony and does many pigeon things. And do not ask for whom the pigeon pigeons. It pigeons for thee.